So I told you guys that I don't really have like too much of an extensive routine when it comes to my skin, but I mean, I've been using the same stuff since I was probably like 15 or 16. So I'm going to show you guys, this is not an ad. This is just the stuff that I actually use. So I use all oil of Olay products. I don't even know. This is a seven in one cream cleanser. Sometimes the package looks like this. Sometimes it's just a plain white package. And then I use Olay Complete Moisturizer, and I've used both of these for literally since I was probably like 15, 16 years old. The reason that I like this one though is because it has an SPF in there, and you always wanna make sure that whatever moisturizer that you wear has an SPF in it, because it kinda helps to make sure that you don't get too much, you know, like rays or whatever that end up making your skin look older than it needs to too fast. All right, so, um, I always use something like a headband or something just to hold my hair back. <laughs> it's kind of tight. I don't know if my head's gotten bigger or if this thing has gotten smaller, but whatever. Um, I throw this up here just so I push my hair and stuff out of my face. And then I have like my whole you know, forehead and stuff showing so I can really clean it. That's good. Um, and then I start with washing my face. So I obviously already washed my face today, but I'm going to wash it. Um, before I go to bed tonight and then I'm going to show you guys kind of what I do. This, um, this is a number seven, um, exfoliator. I just picked it up. It came in a gift set a couple of years ago and it works really well. I normally only exfoliate my skin probably like once a week, sometimes twice during the winter time if it's like super dry, just to kind of get some of the dry patches or whatever off. And then it kind of leaves my face feeling like radiant and you know, it's glowing. I always try to wash my face in the sink instead of washing it in the shower because then you make sure that you, you know, you get it real clean and it's not like, I don't know, you're not missing any spots or whatever. So I always do it in the sink. I just feel like it works better that way. Make sure you get your entire face, kind of rub this back in. Rub it in, rub it in. I have lashes in right now, extension, so I'm just going around my eyes because I don't want them to get too wet, but I make sure that I still get my eyebrows and stuff because you got to get everything off that you have on your face. I don't even have any makeup on, so there really shouldn't be too much to come off. And I always go in and I just wash it with my washcloth first. I don't really think that the temperature of the water matters, so whatever, but hot or cold, however you feel. And then I just really get in there, wipe it off, so get all that stuff off. Really just in case there's any residual makeup left from my, when I had it on last, which I don't know when it is, because during the winter time, I don't really wear that much makeup because I feel like my, um, like if I wear too much makeup during the winter time, then it dries my skin out. So, I don't know, I just get my lashes done sometimes and then it makes me look like I'm doing something when I'm not doing nothing. Okay, so that is all cleaned off. That's kind of just like the first stage. And then after I do that, I go back in with a little bit more cleanser and then I wet my exfoliator and then I just kind of exfoliate. So I'll show you guys that too. Uh, put some more water on there, a little bit more cleanser, I put too much in my hand, but that's okay, throw it on there, okay, so exfoliating, sometimes you're going to feel like you want to use the slow gear, sometimes you're going to want to feel like you use the fast gear, it just kind of depends on how much you know, dryness or whatever. Make sure that you wet your exfoliator because otherwise it's going to scratch your face up and it's going to feel real uncomfortable. Um, and then this is it on the low gear. And I just get in there. Any spots that I know are dry, I spend a little bit more time on those. And I just run over it. Make sure I get around my eyes, make sure I get on my cheeks, 
I always get dry spots right down here towards the edge, over my nose, because I get it there too. I don't want to touch my eyebrows too much. Um, they're microbladed. I don't really know if it would like take off any of the coloring or whatever that's with them, but. I don't really do my eyebrows. I don't really like pull out any of my eyebrow hair because that would look really weird. Alright, and then I just do one more rinse. Right here. You guys can see that there's some redness. That redness is normal. I bruise easy. Every time I exfoliate my face, it turns red a little bit. But by the time I get up in the morning, it's going to be just fine. I think so. Sometimes I'll take like water or whatever on there, but it's fine for right now. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then I finish just kind of, sometimes I add more water to it. Sometimes I don't, like I just said, but whatever. This is pretty much it. And then you see the redness just a little bit, especially in the places where I went a little bit harder, but it'll go away. And then you just kind of let it air dry a little bit. And then after you air dry, then that's when I go back in with my moisturizer and I throw my moisturizer on. Just put enough in your hand to where it'll just cover your face. Make sure that you moisturize it really good. Your tubes. Up high. Some on my eye. Just rub it all in really good. And then the only other thing that I really do, I like my eye roll. Do I have that in here? I think I do. Um, so I use this a couple of times during the week. I don't really know if these things work or not, but it's an eye roller. It's supposed to get like help reduce the look of like dark circles underneath your eyes. Sometimes I do get dark circles under my eyes. It just kind of depends um, and if I got sleep or if I didn't, but you just hold this tool roll right over the dark circles and it helps produce collagen underneath them. So just kind of roll it out. Feels kind of like a massage a little bit. Definitely feels like a massage. Do the other side. I normally do it like right before I go to bed and I might roll them a little bit longer like if I've got more time, but you just try to get the blood flowing a little bit. And that's it. So I told you guys, it's really not that extensive or anything what I do. I use Olay products probably because that's what my mom used to use, not for any other purpose. They seem to work for my skin. My skin is kind of combination, so it's like dry sometimes. Sometimes it's oily. It just kind of depends like the time of year. So I really don't change my products too much necessarily depending on the time of the year. The only thing that I do to kind of combat it when it gets dry is I stop wearing foundation and that kind of stuff on my face because I feel like it dries out a little bit more. But wash your face. You need to wash your face to keep your skin clear. Um, wash it in the morning and wash it at night. Don't go to bed with like all the grease and the nastiness from the day. Sit it on your face because that's probably going to make your face break out. Um, but yeah, that's it. So. If you got questions, um, put them down in the comment section and I will answer them. I hope you guys liked it.